Welcome to Tech Wizard Down In this video, we are going to learn how to tell who has dropped or created objects such as table, store procedure database in our SQL server. Now that's very easy and uh, what you need to do, you need to connect your um, to your SQL instance and uh, once you're connected, you can right click here and then go to reports uh, and then go to standard reports. So here you're gonna go for schema change history. So once you do that, it's going to show you the list of uh, all those schema changes uh, somebody has made it. Um, so there could be multiple users uh, who has uh, created tables, drop tables, or store procedure and all that. Uh, and this report is going to help you to find all that information. So it's uh, finally loading uh, and uh, we can see right here, these are all, uh, you can see the DD, DDL operations here. And uh, this is, uh, you know, object types. So, and uh, here, uh, as you can see the, I have uh, that I was called the HRES. So, and I created a table called my table and uh, then I dropped it. And uh, that's my username that I used to log in. Uh. Now we can do the same thing if I will go ahead and let's say if I go to family now and I uh, will create a new table and this uh, create table dbo uh, dbo dot demo and id integer. Okay, so I'm creating this table and uh, now table is created. I will go back here and refresh and I should see an entry here for my demo table. So I'm uh, loading it again. Okay, so this is showing us uh, uh, how this uh, table is created. It's uh, in created in the database called family and uh, the name of the object is demo. It is created uh, on this time uh, and uh, this is a user who has created. Uh, same way what we can do, we can uh, use uh, the drop table statement uh, and then we can go back and take a look. Um, also, let's create uh, our procedure and uh, I'm going to call this uh, 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 test procedure okay let's call it sp underscore test so we would know the by the name and uh, we are going to say as begin uh, select one and and uh, that's very simple store procedure that we are creating in a family database uh, now if we go right here refresh our report and we should see there could there would be two entries one for the drop table and there would be another entry for uh, our creating store procedure and here you can see that uh, we have a drop table right there. That's uh, uh, done by also Najaf. That's the username I'm using. And I have created a store procedure and you can see that what time uh, the uh, store procedure was created. Uh, if you are not interested here, let's say you want to make a copy of this entire table. It's not really possible. What you can do, we can use the trace uh, in this case uh, to pull this the same information. Uh. So first of all, what you will do, you will get the uh, path uh, for that trace file. So here you're going to run this query and it's going to give you path where your trace file is saved. So you can see right there, that's our default uh, trace file right, right there. Then uh, you are going to use those, you can use uh, this select query and then it will read the data from this uh, trace file. So I copied uh, this uh, file here and I'm going to change right here and then uh, I'm going to execute this. Uh, so there is a case statement if you see right there I have uh, said the where event class is 46 that means object created and event class 47 that means object dropped. Uh, otherwise I uh, just uh, put none uh, you know, in the event type. Uh, so now if I go ahead and execute this uh, statement and here we can see uh, all those uh, uh, actions. Uh, so here you see uh, I was uh, this is a demo uh, table that was uh, uh, dropped here here it was created so you can see right there in the family database uh, this is a login name this is the host name from where this log user logged in and uh, with this is the application name so I'm using a uh, SQL Server Management Studio and I created this uh, um, table now later on I have dropped this table so that statement uh, is there as well so I, I can see that then I have created this uh, store procedure that's also there and you can see further there are other information as well of where I was creating uh, uh, different um, store procedures or the tables and all that also you can find uh, more information such as the alter tables or uh, you can see like uh, uh, maybe alter index uh, you know some maintenance jobs are running and all those kind of things uh, so you're gonna see tons of other information um, so you will use uh, this uh, trace uh, to read uh, all those changes and uh, this is how you will be able to find uh, who has uh, dropped the object or created the object uh, one by using uh, to the report called schema, schema change history uh, report and uh, or other is uh, using the uh, 
the trace file so in the sql and you will read the, the changes from that trace file okay thank you very much for watching i hope this video will help to find out uh, or which user has created which object or have uh, drop any object in a sql server thank you and i will see you guys in the next video